Hello and welcome. You guys have been asking me for more recipes, light yet delicious, and it's gonna keep you out of the kitchen quick. That's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna make, we're gonna transform this wok into Mexican style, okay? If you guys have ever had the calabacitas with cheese and that creaminess, that's what we're gonna do, but we're gonna do it a little bit different. So what I have here is I have about five pieces of tenderloin and I'm gonna add it to my wok. And to my <laughs> and to my chicken, I'm gonna go ahead and add my onion. If you wanna chop some garlic in here, you can. I'm gonna keep it out of this one because I've been adding it to all my stir fry this past week for my family. I'm gonna take it easy for them because they're not gonna get really stinky on me and I have to sit next to them, you guys. Once you coat your wok, it's so easy to add less and less oil when you're using it. This one's going going good. Okay, so I'm gonna have this on a medium heat and I'm gonna let this uh, sear a little bit. I'm gonna add just a little bit more oil and you wanna, you wanna add your oil to whatever you're comfortable with, okay? I don't want you guys to feel like you have to have a wok to do this. You can do it on every other pan that you guys have at your home as long as it's nonstick. It works a lot better, but for me, I've been really enjoying cooking with a wok. It's keeping me healthy and my family. Because I automatically, no matter what I put in here, I feel like it's takeout, you know? I gotta fool my brain, guys. So let me go ahead and continue to cook this for about three to four minutes, and I'll see you guys in just a moment when I have to add the rest of our ingredients. So to our little blend that we have going on over here, you're gonna choose whatever uh, bouillon you like. I'm currently using chicken bouillon, and um, we're gonna go ahead and add it to about uh, four tablespoons. And you can go a little bit over, you should be okay, of water pepper and a little pinch of turmeric just a small portion whatever you can manage just make sure to go light because if you use too much you're going to change the flavor completely shout out to the golden milk baby hey, hey. <laughs> you know who you are little one um, but make sure to mix that well and we just have that ready over here waiting for us okay you don't have turmeric, you don't have to use this. It's just something that I've incorporated into many of my um, dishes for my family. And because I'm aging, guys, I definitely feel like I have arthritis on my hands amongst other areas, so I have to look out for that. You definitely do have arthritis. I know, I know I'm a cool mom, and we don't talk about these things, guys, but I, I'm an older cool mom. <laughs> and by cool, she means going to bed at 6.30 in the evening. Girl, yeah. Your sister right. wants her to stay awake. No, girl, I don't go to sleep that early. You know that. We party it up, you guys. That's why you need to join us on the Venus Club because we have some really good stuff that we're gonna keep bringing to you guys. Yes. All right. So this is this is pretty good. Like once you see that the pink starts going away, that's about the time that you want to add your veggies because your chicken's pretty much already done, right? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna add your uh, yellow squash and your uh, zucchinis with your corn and if you only have like half of a zucchini you don't have it you can still make this guys you can still make it I made the calabacitas on the channel before when I used to uh, mukbang cook type of thing um, and you guys always ask me for this recipe and I think just adding the chicken really completes the meal because we are going to be having this with some rice. You guys are wondering how many people am I going to feed with this? I'm feeding about uh, eight people. So this is a big portion, but I'm not going to lie. If I had to sit down, I could probably eat more than half of this myself. <laughs> But we're not doing that right now, guys. We are not. <laughs> we have a full house today. Yes. Some of us just invited ourselves over. Hey, you know what? It doesn't <laughs> matter. I cook, and even if I didn't have it, I would get back on here and then do it all over. Yes. I love feeding my family. Okay, so now that we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to pour our broth, and we're going to mix it quickly. It might get a little bit loud, um, so bear with me.
Okay, give that a good mix. And what we're gonna do now is we're gonna make a little puddle at the middle because I have our cream cheese. You don't like it, you don't have to use it and you can use as much as you want. I'm keeping it pretty light. Ooh, pixie. Because I just need a little creaminess to this dish. And then I'm gonna use about half a tablespoon of butter. That's your girl barking at the I know. Person. All right, guys, hold on. I gotta check the door. All right, guys, all you wanna do is just mix uh, the butter and the cream cheese in the middle really quickly, and then you're gonna start mixing it around your whole combo. <laughs> you know, I almost wanna call this mambo number five. Yes. Yes, combo number five. I don't know how many combos I have on the channel, but you guys asked me for more balanced meals. One of the things that you want to uh, check out for yourselves is um, at the end of all this, if you want to add a little bit of cilantro, you can. The corn, corn here. Yum. I'm like, what is that? <laughs> I didn't use anything that would leave a, a hair thing like any of the brushes. It's the corn. Hey, don't look at me. I don't have blonde hair. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, if you want to, what was I saying? Girl, I don't know. You distracted me. Ooh, with I, hair, the corn hair. Corn hair? All right, so I'm going to put a lid on this so I can get my point across. When In the middle, you can add a little bit of heavy cream. If you're not watching your diet, you can add a little bit of milk to make it a little bit creamier. But for me, that amount of cream cheese keeps us all balanced here at home. So, I'm going to go ahead and let this cook for about two minutes with the lid. And I'll show you guys in just a moment. All right, guys, it's been about two minutes for me. And this is another optional one. I have some um, cumin powder. And whenever we have any kind of chicken, uh, cumin usually tastes wonderful to us. So just a little bit, not a lot. Cumin's actually one of my holy grail uh, spices. That's what you made yesterday. I would have thought that it was um, pepper. You know, uh, one of the things that I'm going to share with you guys is that my older son that has selective eating, <laughs> um, if I leave the zucchinis a little bit crunchier, like right now, he's very likely to enjoy it a lot more than when they get really mushy. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and turn it off. And you're going to add as much cheese as you'd like. But we're watching ourselves, guys. So this is what, a, like one fourth of a cup of cheese, if that like this. Um, if you like, like I said, you can add cilantro to the top. You can add your chiltepines, your spicy little flakes on the top. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to plate this with a side of rice. And you guys will be able to see that in the thumbnail on how I plated it. And I'll make sure to add it here at the end so you guys can kind of get that gist because I got to feed my family. It's summertime. They're hungry and they're giving me those eyes. <laughs> So I want to thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope that you enjoy this video. If you guys don't have fresh corn, you can use frozen corn. And, you know, this is a very versatile recipe, as you can see, so you can make it comfortable for your home. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, click that bell for notifications, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye! Adios! Yeah. See, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put my rice right here on the side, and I'm going to pour in uh, some of our our calabacitas, that's what we call them, which are uh, zucchinis, we call them calabacitas, or a blend of squash and zucchinis, we call them calabacitas in Spanish, so I hope you guys enjoy this dish, and yeah, bye! So we're at the grocery store, nice. show us what you came prepared with. Oh, nice. Last time I came, I forgot them, so this is going to be my first time. So you guys are going to be doing this with me. What goes in there? And, uh, produce. Nice. So let's see how like a regular grocery store handles it. Because my girls here are really nice. Yeah. But I just don't know how they're going to search for the numbers and things because it's not clear. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like you put the, the like veg, let's say like beets, you put them in there and then they have to take them out and like scan them or something. I don't know. I think I'm going to open it and keep it open so they can see what it is. Okay. I don't know, guys. This is new. I feel... I'm going to be honest. It feels kind of silly, but I'm proud of myself for doing this. I'm proud of you, too. Whose yeah, winter schnitzel cup is that? What? Behind you, girl. I see it in that cup holder. Who is it? 
That's Did you cheat pretzel. on me? No, that's what's a pretzel oh. with grandma. Oh, okay. I'm going to get grandma for that. I don't mess with grandma. She knows what she's doing. <laughs> Those um, pretzels are bomb, though. Not, but, um, so, yeah, this yeah, is going to be more. new. I'm... I, I gotta stand up for something. Nice, and Let's you have the, the grocery bags. Do you have a bag too? Nice one. All right, All right. we're ready.